morning it's Sunday June 19th 2011 and here I am in my usual spot in uh, Riverside Park and I realized that uh, that all the noise you hear is planes going overhead cars rushing up and down the West Side Highway just below the, uh, the Riverside Park Mall down there and cars here on Western Avenue so it's 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 noisy here and I realized when I talk to you in, from New Jersey, or from New Jersey, I realized it's less noisy in New Jersey. It's true. But what can I do? Uh, the scenery's better here. This morning, I read the first paragraph of Maureen Dowd as she started to deal with uh, Archbishop Timothy Dolan here in New York. And she must be the scourge of the Catholic Church here in New York, and Maureen Dowd is an Irish Catholic, so she takes them on with relish and mustard and ketchup. She absolutely skewers them to the point that we, we we're going to have to read the entire article today and discuss it, because after I read two paragraphs, I just laughed myself silly because she is so merciless, as she should be, about Catholic priests and archbishops and the cover-up of sexual predators, of, of priests and their sexual predations, let's call it that way. She says, with his cigars, blogs, Jameson's and Irish affability, Jameson being a scotch, which you may know already, New York Archbishop Timothy Dolan prides himself on his gumption, certainly his effort to kill the gay marriage bill, which is just one vote away from passing in Albany, shows a lot of gall. The Archbishop has been ferocious in fighting against marriage between same-sex couples, painting it as a perversity against nature. A perversity against nature. That, you have to think about that. Nature doesn't want same-sex marriage. How can you tell? Certainly not by the abundance of homosexual activity among creatures of nature, not necessarily human. But they don't get married. Yes, homosexual monkeys do not get married. Nor dogs, nor sheep. I understand why the church really doesn't embrace science, because science does things like show how natural homosexuality is among all animals and all races and creeds and species and everything else. But anyway, the Archbishop has been ferocious in fighting against marriage between same-sex couples, painting it as a perversity against nature. If only, and this is Maureen Dowd, if only his church had been as ferocious in fighting against the true perversity against nature, the unending horror of pedophile priests and the children who trusted them. Well, I'm afraid that seems to be natural too, uh, but it's something that you'd best try to fight against. You'd tr best try to contain, even if it is in our nature, it's part of society and being part of a civilized culture, semi-civilized culture, to contain some of your baser instincts, understanding the harm that may be caused by them. In the second generation round of the church versus Cuomo, ooh, Archbishop Dolan is pitted against Andrew Cuomo, the Catholic governor who is fiercely pushing for New York to become the sixth and most populous state to approve a gay marriage. Oh no, no, tell me no. Governor Cuomo was already on the wrong side of the church for his support of abortion rights, his divorce, and his living in sin with the Food Network star Sandra Lee. Oh no, tell me. Living in Sin with the Food Network star Sandra Lee. This is scandalous. He was accused by the Vatican advisor Edward Peters of public concubinage. Of public concubinage. But this guy's only a Vatican advisor. He doesn't see no, he's not infallible. He doesn't have nothing to say. As it is known in canon law, public concubinage. Public concubinage, concubinage, concubining in public. 
I like that. I have to remember that. And Peters recommended that Cuomo be denied communion until he resolved the scandal by ceasing this cohabiting. Oh, 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 cohabiting. And therein lies the, oh my gracious, casuistry. You tell me what that word is. Leave it to Maureen Dowd to come up with casuistry. Casuistry. It's not cause, it's cas. It's not, it's casuistry. We'll, we'll have to look that up. And therein lies the casuistry. Casuistry. Free. Casuistry. Casuistry. On one hand, whatever that is, on one hand, as Peters, that's Vatican advisor Edward Peters, it's about Cuomo and Lee, men and women are not supposed to live together without the benefit of matrimony. We, we, <laughs> They're not supposed to live together without the benefit of matrimony. And why? Well, they're just not supposed to. But then the church denies the benefit of marriage to same-sex couples living together. Just says no. You, no. Dolan insists that marriage between a man and a woman is hardwired by God and nature. Hardwired by God. God sat up there and got his little soldering machine and he said, all right, every one of those people will be hardwired to marry someone of the opposite sex. And there were, but then what the hell happened to the homosexuals? What happened to their hardwiring? You mean to tell me that God just not, is not a good electrician? That's what it, this, what this is all about. God does not know how to do basic electrical tasks like hardwiring brains because well, I, I've seen some people who really prefer to live with people of the same sex. I actually know some. Don't tell anybody. I, I know people like that. But the church refuses to acknowledge that homosexuality may be hardwired by God and nature as well and is not a lifestyle choice. There you see, they just, that's exactly what I, I just said. Garbage truck. Can you imagine that? Dolan and other church leaders are worried about the exodus of young Catholics who no longer relate to the intolerances of church teaching. Can you imagine that? He dryly told the Times last year that when he sees long lines of young people on Fifth Avenue waiting to get into a house of worship, it's at Abercrombie and Fitch and not St. Patrick's Cathedral. Oh, oh dear. The church refuses to acknowledge the hypocrisy at its heart that it became a haven for gay priests even though it declares homosexual sex a sin and even though it lobbies to stop gays from marrying. Now just a second, just a second. Priests are gay. Oh, Maureen Dowd, she's just, she's just scandalous, that woman. I mean, I went to a Catholic high school with all priests and teaching and were they gay? They're very young, they all live together. Yeah, I think a lot of them were. I think a lot of them were. I, I, I'm sure a lot of them were. Can you imagine that? In yet another attempt at rationalization, rationalization, the nation's Catholic bishops, a group Dolan is now in charge of, ooh, put out a ridiculous five-year study last month going with the Blame Woodstock explanation for the sex abuse scandal. Blame Woodstock? The report suggested that the problem was caused by permissive secular society rather than cloistered church culture because priests were trained in the turbulent free love era. Now that makes perfect sense to me. Being trained in a turbulent free love era would automatically lead you to abuse children, to sexually abuse children. Makes perfect sense to me. It is the Woodstock generation, it's not anything else. It concluded absurdly that neither the all-male celibate priesthood nor homosexuality were the causes. Can you imagine that? 
in another resistance to reform, the bishops voted on Thursday to keep their policies on sexual abuse by the clergy largely the same, with only small revisions ignoring victims, ignoring victims' advocates who were hoping for meaningful changes. At their meeting in Bellevue, Washington, one retired archbishop from Anchorage actually proposed an amendment to get rid of the zero tolerance provision on abuse so some guilty priests could return to parishes. That failed at least. That's pretty strong. I mean, that's, well, we understand that. I know I'm, I know I'm just piling on. If God and nature are so clear about what marriage is, why do the well-connected have an easier time getting the church to sunder their marriages with annulments? Yes, we're talking about you, new to Cambridge. You know, Maureen Dowd, is such a pain to the church. She keeps coming up with these questions that can only be answered by faith. You just have to have faith and not be asking questions like this. Stupid, silly human logic simply has no place in this. In his blog, The Gospel in the Digital Age, Dolan invokes not just God, but Orwell. Eugene Orwell? Eugene Ormandy, that would be Eugene Ormandy. Orwell. I know who they're talking about. 1984, but Ali Orwell, no. Thomas Orwell, Oscar Orwell, Bob Orwell, it's gotta be Bob, okay. Dolan invokes not just God, but Orwell, denouncing the perilous presumption of the state in reinventing the definition of marriage, which he says has served as the very cornerstone of civilization and culture from the start. Has it? Okay. The starch bishop noted with asperity. The starch bishop noted with asperity. Let's all look up asperity now. Asperity. At least you get a good vocabulary test in the New York Times. Asperity. The starch bishop noted with asperity that last time I consulted an atlas, it is clear we are living in New York, in the United States of America, not in China, where communiques from the government can dictate the size of family, who lives and who dies, and what the very definition of family and marriage means. Maureen Dodd says, yeah, not like the Vatican, where, which does all those things. In the same blog, Dolan snidely dismissed the notion that gay marriage is a civil right. We acknowledge that not every desire, urge, want, or she cause is automatically a right, he wrote. You know, that, that deserves. We acknowledge that not every desire, urge, want, or she cause is automatically a right, he wrote. A right, he wrote. And what about other rights, like that of a child to be raised in a family with a mom and a dad? Then how about the right of a child not to be molested by the parish priest, writes Maureen Dowd. Oh, God. Dolan acts like getting married when done by gays is a self-indulgent act of hedonism. Hedonism? Hedonism. When it's really a leap of faith and a promise of fidelity. Well... Worn out by the rampant sexting of Anthony Weiner and the relentless blogging of Archbishop Dolan, I'm wondering if our institutions need to rejigger. Maybe politicians should be celibate and priests should marry. Maureen Dowd. Thank you, Maureen. Well done. Well done.